Those skulls frighten them. All right. We'll face the music alone. Go ahead. Avalon, give this young electrical genius the seat of honor. Yes, Master. Come. Now, how do you like it, Mr. Gordon? It's fitting, Dr. Manius, that you should be here to witness the first major experiment of your own invention. The destroying ray. Zoloft. This horror. It's no use, Father. He's so cruel. Wait a minute. Are you sure this is the entrance? I know every corner and turn in the lost city. Come. Lorzo, we're trusting you. Remember, Zolak is my enemy. Go ahead. Come. Avalon, is everything ready? Everything, Master. Go ahead. Yes, Master. Here go. Part those two. You've invaded our city. You've stolen our secrets. There's nothing else to do but seal your lips. You must die. You're a coward, Zolot. All ready, Master. Go ahead. Go down to the powerhouse and see what's wrong with the condensers. Yes, sir. The power's off. Great. That'll stop so lots of monkey business for a while. Quick. We've got to get out of here. have lost your mind. He had no mind to lose. You've got to get Zolak out of the control room or else. Come on. That's for you, you young upstart. Master Zolak, come to the powerhouse. Quick. Hugo, stand guard. <gasps> we got to tie him up. Come on, hurry up. Here. Quick, Here. Harry. Give me that wire up there. My prayers are answered. What could have worked this miracle? Providence uses its own agents, my dear. Say, which way will he come? Down that corridor. I'll go watch. All right. Hey, 
Here he comes now. I think your hands with him. Now he's alone. All right, hi, quick. Public enemy number two. What are we doing? Lock him in the steel dungeon. I'll go to the control room. The giants are there alone. They'll obey me. All right, we'll take care of this maniac. Come, Come on, Terry. I can stand this no longer. I'm coming over to release you. Be careful of those giants, Natcha. They're dangerous. Yes. Yes, I know. Stop it, I tell you. I am master now. At last, I've evened that score. Oh, that padded fellow just fit that screwy guy. Thank you, Gordo. Natchez. Bruce, are you all right? I thought, sure, that was the final curtain. Oh, but it was the final curtain for Zolak, all right. What's become of him? I owed him a debt, and I've paid it off. He won't bother us anymore. You didn't kill him. No, we put him in a cola. <laughs> the stupid fools. The stupid fools. <laughs> My son, I believe you have accomplished your mission. But not altogether, Dr. Manus. What remains to be done? To render this apparatus useless. It has been causing such worldwide havoc. You're right. Zolak has shown us that these instruments can be a dreadful menace. Gorzo, now that Zolak is out of the way, go tell my natives they have nothing to fear from the lost city. Yes, Mr. Butterfield. <laughs> Our next move is to reach the outside world. Do you happen to have any facilities for broadcasting? I have a short wave transmitter that will carry a message to any part of the world. Just what we need. I will put on the connections now. Would you like to see it, Mr. Butterfield? Very interesting. Yes, I would. Uh, and you, Jerry? Yes. This way, gentlemen. Natural. Yes, Bruce. When I've accomplished my mission here, I'm going back home. Will you come with me? Well, yes. Father and I have wanted to go for so long. What I what I mean is, is when we get back, will you marry me? Yes, Bruce. Next. Natcha, you're adorable. Bruce! The doctor's got one of the greatest ultra shortwave transmitters I've ever seen in my life. Get on there, he's got it all hooked up. Come on, on this mic. Yes. Calling CQ. Calling CQ. Bruce Gordon Expedition, Center of Africa. Calling CQ. Come in, please. Do you think you will? Sure, Mr. Cape Town to Kyle Airways. Ship. P-15, answering Bruce Gordon. Go ahead, please. Bruce Gordon Expedition, speaking from the lost city, center of Africa. <laughs> now we shall see. Who is the master? And in demolishing this apparatus of worldwide destruction, 
we have accomplished the second object of our mission. Most of the marvels of the lost city are due to the genius of a Dr. Manus, whose sole purpose has ever been for the progress and welfare of his fellow men. That is all. Your call has been relayed to British Air Base. Relief ship on way. That's telling them, Bruce. Oh, boy, that's sure telling them. Good work, Bruce. Yeah. Thank you, Butterfield. Congratulations. At last, civilization seems to be on its way to find us. Well, come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. They'll all be looking for us. Come on, Nathan. Butterfield wants you come in Lost City. No, no. We no go in. You have nothing more to fear. Zolak has no more power. You saw us, Big White. Doctor. Sure, it looks like the catacombs of Rome, don't it? It <laughs> surely does. <laughs> They're all mad. But I'll show them. My power. Big white doctor, come. Now he come. My children, the mad scientist of the lost city will torture you no longer. You must serve Butterfield well. He is a good master. Thank you, Dr. Manius. <laughs> I want to thank you, Dr. Manus, for being so kind to me. And you too, Mr. Butterfield. Where are you going? I'm going back to my people. Bye, Dr. Manus. Bye, Mr. Butterfield. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye. 
Bye, Bruce. Goodbye, Gordo. Bye, Jerry. Goodbye, Gordo. Bye. Wanna! Wanna! Look! Look! Big bad cop! Those planes are going to take us back home, my darling. Oh, well, I'd be glad to get there. Yes. You will go, but I... I stay in Africa. But why don't you go with us, Mr. Butterfield? Africa is my home. City. That's the end of that maniac, Zolak. And my mission is fulfilled. And the world will never realize what good you have done. I am proud of you, my son. And I am too, Bruce. 